Hi, how are you going? My name's Campbell and this is Spiral Up Channel where we talk about practical things that we can use in our everyday lives to improve our experiences. And today I just wanted to talk about, and this comes back to, you know, who are we? Um, the absence of ceremony in our lives. So let's get into that. So yeah, the absence of ceremony. Uh, now in the past, and we still see this in, you know, what, what are termed tribal cultures, uh, there was ceremony. Uh, and, you know, there was ceremony for everything. Obviously there was, you know, celebrating certain days and astrological events and uh, gods and spirits and all these type of things, religious, you know, days. But what I really want to talk about is coming of age. The coming of age, you know, ceremonies and rituals that used to be in all cultures and societies and uh, seem to have disappeared from our Western culture, our Western society. Let's call it society because I don't I really like the word culture because uh, that's a cult. So uh, one story is that uh, there was, and this, this is actually uh, from Baden Powell who started the Scout Movement. Uh, he was living with natives in Africa and they had a ceremony where they would paint the boys white, uh, cover them in white paint and send them out to the bush. And the boys had to stay out there until all the paint wore off them. And, and obviously that meant they had to you know, survive. They had to hunt, forage and look after themselves. And this could take months for all the paint you know, to, to wear completely off. And this was their ceremony. When they came back, they were then men. And obviously this was done at a certain age. And then, you know, we have things like uh, balls, you know, these are, are the remnants of what of, of these older ceremonies. You know, we have like this sort of uh, debutantes and coming of age balls and all these types of things where um, you know, it really is just a pale comparison to what there was, but it's supposed to represent young people becoming adults and leaving the child world and entering the adult world. So the, the first point I want to make is what we have today, the ages are way too young. Okay, all this, you know, 16 year olds, no, they are children. Uh, 18, children. 21, a lot of people, you know, and that and that's definitely in today's society. People look at twenty-one as all oh, that's that's a bit old. I would say that's the starting point of an adult. Uh, I would even say twenty-five, because what this is about, this is about growing up mentally. It's about maturing. Okay, it's about having having the the wisdom and the the mental acumen to be able to perceive things properly and to be able to make rational decisions that. Um, turn out favorably for yourself and your, you know, surroundings and the people you, that you love and like. That that's what wisdom is: is is to have the ability that the decisions you make make the world better. I mean, come on. That, as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much that's what wisdom is, right? So, uh, the first thing is, you know, as children, and you know, we all went through this. There's no point where they say, okay, now you're an adult. You know, we have these things like, and in, in our cultures, it's like, oh, is it 18 or is it 21? You know, some, you know, when, when you're 18, they love to give you the key to this, the, you know, these little keys, key to the city and all this, and then you get to get when you're 21. So we don't even have a real, an age. And then there's the 16s for balls and things. Uh, but this, it needs to be an age where everyone hits an age and there is a proper ceremony because and people need to be, you know, we need to be taught. We need to be ready for this because what the ceremony is, it literally is you're leaving, being a child, you're leaving the child's world and you're becoming an adult, which means you then need to be able to look after a family. You need to be able to, you know, build or attain, you know, shelter, food, water, all these things. Uh, and obviously everything else that, that goes along with being a human down here. So... 
this whole thing at the moment, what we've got is pretty much you turn 18 and they go, yeah, hey, now you can drink. Now you can drink alcohol. <laughs> if you're lucky, it's 21. Oh, and, and by the way, you can drive a car as well. I mean, this is madness. There's no, there's no ceremony, like there's no, there's no society, societal structure that actually lets us know when we are adults. And there's no, uh, uh, what, how do I call it, educational structure that takes us on that road from being a child to being an adult. You know, the whole maturity, the whole wisdom, the whole getting perspective and being able to see things and helicopter views, all this stuff. We don't get taught it, but these are the things that you need to be an adult, to be a leader, because every to be an adult, you need to be a leader, because at the very least, you're going to be leading your own life. And when we say that, right, go and lead your own life. And that's just if you're single, you know, then if you're, if you have a family, then you're the leader of a family or, you know, a co-leader. And, and then you've got organizations and jobs that we are, that's what adults are. And, and of course, some are better leaders than other and have, you know, higher positions of, of leadership. But like I said, even if you're single, you need to be a leader. If you don't know how to be a leader, you're going to get led around and that always ends badly. So we don't have this ceremony and it's something, you know, I've thought about for years and years that we need this, we need to teach our young children uh, what it is to be an adult, you know, what, what they, what kind of attributes they need and skills and ethics and what it really means because, you know, these kids, and it happened to me, I'm sure it happened to you, we get thrown out in the world and it's like, oh, well, just go and get a job, um, you know, unless you've gone to uni and that, you know, then, well, even then you do uni and then it's just go and get a job. Oh, great, you've got a job. Now go and get debt. And and this is the whole scam as well. And people end up 10, 20 years into it and they're stuck in a job trying to pay off debt that they don't really owe. Uh, and their life, you know, they're not doing what they want to do. They're not giving the value that they were sent here to, to give because we never make that transition properly. It's it's We just kind of roll into this thing and then 20 years later we realise, oh, I think I'm an adult now. Crap. What happened? No, because there's, there's no ceremony. There's no point in which we leave whatever the town has a child and come back an adult and, and are accepted into that adult, um, you know, uh, communities. Is that the right word? You know, the adult. Because in the old societies, obviously it was all one society, but you had the children and then you had the adults and, you know, and obviously men and women too, and they had what different things that they would talk about and that they would need to discuss, uh, you know, to keep their societies running, you know, well and running safely and running profitably for all, you know, profitably as in lifestyle. And so when you were a child, you couldn't go into these men's meetings or women's meetings and talk to and be a part of the decision-making process because you didn't have the wisdom and the leadership because you're a child. So you get taught through these different processes and through these different ceremonies and they lead up to the to the point where you have the ceremony where you leave the world of children and become or enter the world of adults. And we don't have that anymore and it's a big problem. That's why we have so many children walking around. And, you know, just this year it's really come out and we can really see how many, you know, fully grown children there are out there and how many of these, you know, Men, mentally, these people are children. They really are. And and so many of them are in a position of power. That they, It's unbelievable. Because, but you see, they've never been through this process. None of us have. And so it's, it's only a few people that kind of work out, oh, okay, there, there's, a, there's a process here I need to go through uh, to end up being, you know, who I need to be, to be the adult, to be the leader that I, that I need to be to start to start to be someone who can contribute, who can start to be a decision maker, who can start to be, to take action, you know, and, and, and to start sort of moving humanity in a better way. You know, these people just don't turn up, they're made and, and they make themselves. And but and because we have to, we don't have any guidance of how to do it these days. So this is something, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I don't really have at the moment a solution for that. Well, apart from we need to build better societies that include this and they need we need a real education system and we need a process. You know, children should be children, of course, 
and they should be led to each other. But, but then as they get into their later teens, there should be certain things that start coming in and ceremonies that start to transition them into the kind of person that we need as adults because we are sorely lacking them at the moment on earth. So guys, this is something you can do yourself. Uh, this is what I'll leave you with is this is, and everything I say is so much about going within. You know, we have the inner world and the outer world. And if you want to know the difference, just close your eyes. Okay, you're in a different world. Uh, so close your eyes and think, you know, who, not just who do you want to be, definitely who you want to be, but what does it take? What skills do you need to be that person? And, and you know, you, it doesn't... <laughs> um, try and get specific. So not just, oh, I'd like to be a leader and I'd like to make the world better because you hear so many people this chant, oh, I'm here to change the world. Oh, well, great. So was Mussolini. You know, so was Pol Pot. What does that mean? You know, th there's so many words and words are spells. We get taught spelling in schools. First thing they teach us, spelling. Words are spells. You cast them. So all this, you know, sort of flippant, you know, word spell that, that people run around, they say things that don't mean anything. They're just putting confused energy out. So we need to get specific. How do you want to change the world? How? What? You know, there's, there's, there's all these different sectors that need improving and need, well, not improving, they need uh, rebuilding is what they need from the ground up, you know, uh, food, education, uh, you know, political structure. We need some of that. Um, you know, all these different things, medicine, blah, blah, blah. So what, what, what do you want to change? What's your specific sort of niche? What sector are you in? And then what's, what's the niche of that sector? If you're into food, like, what is it? Do you want to grow food? Okay, what kind of thing? Are you into permaculture? Okay, do you want to, you know, focus on the whole lot, the structure, food trees, you know, fruit trees, vegetables? You know, get specific. And then, then when you're specific, work out the skills you need. To, to be able to act on that, to follow it through and get those skills. Go out and just, just go out and get the skills. Just do it. You will not get paid for doing this. You will not get money. I'm going to tell you right now, you will not get money. You will be paid though. You will be paid a lot more in who you become and in what you learn and in what you can then give. This is the payment. This, oh, we've got to change our mind as well as you know, this paper stuff is wealth, it's not. Uh, it's kind of a trap It's a, that traps you in from not actually being able to ever, ever get and receive your true wealth because it stops you giving who you really are. So who is it you want to be as a leader, as a mature, wise, human adult? And, and this is the thing, uh, you know, people have these visions of what they want to be when they're old, when they're old and... I want to just be a wise old man. I just want to be wise. I just want to know. And I want my time here to mean something. You know, to, to live a life and to be 70 or 80 years old and to not be able to give people advice on how to improve their lives and how to live better is, is, is that's just like the worst thing in the world to me. It's just a waste of a life. You know, this is how it used to work. People used to live their lives and they used to go through different processes and different stages and they used to enjoy each stage. They used to enjoy growing, not growing old, just growing uh, and being in different ages. And then at the at a certain time, they, you know, they'd be collecting wisdom on the way up and then as they got older, they could then give that wisdom back and that would then help the next generation to grow and to get better. And that's what we've lost. We've lost that the knowledge, the cycle of knowledge has been cut out. We now have old people that aren't wise, that don't know a lot, that have no advice to give. And yes, it's society and it's, it, it is their fault and it's society's fault because at the end of the day, we all have choice. Uh, but this is where we are. This, it's just the reality of where we are. That's been cut out. And so who, look at young people, who do they, and apart from the fact that families have been split up as well, and a lot of kids don't even know their grandparents or have access to them or to old people because they're all locked away in, you know, nursing homes. These people used to be revered and used to be kept in, in the, the communities, 
Now they're locked away and fed drugs. Okay, we've got a lot of problems in our societal structure. And it's to do with, a big part of it is we've lost this ceremony thing. People don't know where they are or who they are or at what rung of the ladder they're on. We have kids who think that they should be running the place, acting like they're 40, and we have 40-year-olds in positions of power who are acting like children. And then we have wise people who can't even get into these positions where they can actually affect the world in a positive way. So there you go. <laughs> Went on a bit longer there, a bit of rambling. So I hope that uh, yeah gives you something that you can work with. Just go inside, find out what who you want to be and what skills you need and start to take the action. And don't look to be paid in this stuff. Understand that, you, that by doing this, you're giving to the universe and so it will give back to you. It's all energy. All right, guys. Thanks for spending some time with me. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now. Thank you.